Okay, so so that's one of the issues is that because we see periods as so secretive, we don't talk about them, so we don't realize when we're not normal, and we don't realize that there's a breadth of experience uh, that women go through, and so we can label people as complainers or whiners or lazy, lazy or <laughs> when that's really not what's happening. The other issue is because this is seen as so shameful and it isn't talked about, Guys have no clue what we're really going through. <laughs> and guys contribute so much to our mortification. Like, as, especially as teenagers, the number of stories that came through. I remember one woman saying their youth pastor um, was doing this big water event in the summer with the whole youth group. And he was making it compulsory. They were doing a water Olympics or something. And she was saying to him, I really don't think that's a good idea to make it compulsory. You should have multiple events that people can go through to and they can choose which events they want to do. Yeah. And there shouldn't be anything that was compulsory. And he wanted to do this big final event where everyone's in the water and they're doing some big game. And, and she kept saying no. And he got really angry at her and couldn't figure this out. And she said, look, some of these girls are going to be having their periods. You can't do that. And he says, well, why should that matter? Guy, like, like <laughs> have you no seriously? clue? Yeah. And, and the number, and camp came up a lot. Camp was really scarring for so many girls where um, they were signed up for boating and they had to do their boating test, you know, the first day of camp and they couldn't wear a tampon Yep. And they're supposed to be in their bathing suit and the boating person's yelling at them and she's saying, well, can I just do it in a few days? And no, you can't. And or insisting that you get in and swim. And it's like, well, I can't. <laughs> and then making you feel badly and having lifeguards yell at you, male lifeguards yell at you. And I do want to say a lot of the comments we got were about teenagers dealing with adult males. Mm hmm. Um, and, and I know for myself personally, okay, like growing up, and I wonder, and I do wonder if this is a generational thing that's changing, uh -huh. because I know that for myself growing up, obviously there were guys in my youth who had no clue what was right. going on. Obviously there were guys where it was like, why, why can't you go in the pool? Why, why are you sitting up there with shorts on? Like, take your shorts off, get in the pool. And I'm like... Yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to. Like, yeah. like everyone else is getting this. All of your guy friends are being like, eh, 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 yeah. cut it out. No. Um, <laughs> just you who doesn't get this, buddy. Yeah. But most of the stories we're getting is about adult men not understanding what teenagers are going through. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I really do think that there is a bit of a cultural change happening where, where guys are actually learning about this more. Mm -hmm. But it's just ridiculous when... Um, uh, I don't want to sound angry or man bashing here to get accused of that but <laughs> it's ridiculous that a man can have a job where he works with girls mm -hmm. and he is not mandatory to learn about this kind of thing like yep. this is so basic yeah literally the 11 year olds in your youth group are dealing with this so if you as a 28 year old can't understand this like that's mm -hmm. Utterly ridiculous. Yeah. This is not difficult stuff. This is not rocket science, yep. people. I almost had the opposite problem mm -hmm. of all of this, uh, surrounded by boys who are so embarrassed, have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Um, see, okay, I was a lifeguard, and then yes. also a lot of my friends who are guys had sisters, like multiple sisters. Mm -hmm. They were like one or two dudes in the general group who were a little too open about it. Uh -huh. They were a little too accepting. <laughs> <laughs> they were the guys who anytime any girl showed any emotion, they were like, would you like a foot rub? <laughs> or like, <laughs> anytime any girl was like, if they realized a the girl was on her period, it was like, just it was his job to prove to her how okay he was with this and right. how he was there for you and oh I'll give you a neck rub or I'll bring you chocolates or I'll yeah. and like it wasn't a trying to win you over in love kind of thing it was honestly just a oh sweetie oh sweetie you're trying to be so so woke. They were just trying way too hard. Yeah. Um, and, and so that's why I'm saying we need to not have shame and we need to have education. Yeah. But we also need to maintain privacy. Yes, because privacy is important. Yes. The way I like to think about the healthy way to kind of talk about this stuff is it's a bodily function. Mm -hmm. How do you talk about other bodily functions? Yeah. <laughs> when you hear that your friend is going for a nice big poop in the bathroom, are you outside being like, you can do it. Just push. You can do it. Oh my gosh, I totally...
totally understand. I mean, I haven't personally had a poop like that before, but like, I will be there for you. Do you need any fiber? Like, I could bring you a bran muffin. Here, why don't I come up behind you and just kind of squeeze your shoulders to help you just get it? Like, obviously, that would be inappropriate because privacy is a thing. Yeah, and, or like when you say, "I'm going to the bathroom," you don't you don't announce whether it's for number one or number two. Exactly, but you like, do tell people, "Excuse me, I'm just going to the washroom." Exactly, but you wouldn't yeah. say, "Hello, had some curry and a smoothie two hours ago." They are about to make an appearance, right? Like, there's an issue of privacy that is still important, and yeah. I think we just need to stop seeing it as a sexual function and start seeing it as a bodily function, right? Right. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with doing a video um, for like like all these influencers I'm talking about who they do videos on how they handle their period or mm -hmm. their experiences their first period like that kind of stuff is is fine because people tell funny bathroom jokes people tell yeah. people tell experiences if you have IBS right yeah there's you need information on that right yeah, yeah. and it's totally fine if other people know what your experience with IBS was right yeah. but <sighs> if there is a acquaintance near you who is in the bathroom. We don't cheer them on, no. right? <laughs> so that's just all I'm saying. It's like, as parents, and as a parent of a little boy, mm -hmm. right? As a mom of a little boy, my job in my mind is to teach my little boy that this is just a bodily function like others. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And so you need to have, but it's a more difficult one. So you mm -hmm. need to have sympathy and... You know, but he doesn't need to offer shoulder rubs to every girl getting her period. Right. Because I don't right. want him to be creepy. Yeah, yeah. There's the creepy, there's the creepy factor, creepy line you don't want to cross. Yeah.